Contention. Critique. Conjecture. Conclusion. The Huddle with paperplusoffice.co.nz. Shop online anytime. They're open 24-7. It's 19 to 6, News Talk ZB with Mike Yardley and joining us on The Huddle tonight, Josie Pagani. Good evening, Josie. Hi, Mike. And uh, from whaleoil.co.nz, Cam Slater. G'day, Cam. Hey, Mike. Now, of course, there's plenty of frenzy still underway over Labour's crusade for gender balance. We've got David Shearer on the programme after six. How do you think he can put this to bed, Cam? You mean apart from a sex change, Mike? (laughs) Well, Clayton's not having the operation. No. Um, look, I, in, in my opinion, he's got to do a couple of things. Firstly, you know, no one thinks there's a crisis in Labour with women getting ahead. That's been their problem. What is the problem they're trying to solve here? Now everybody's talking about, is the Labour Party set on making itself unelectable? So I think the first thing he's got to do is he's, he's got to talk to working New Zealanders and say, right, your priorities are Labour's priorities. So... He's got to talk about jobs, he's got to talk about incomes, housing, he's got to announce some big policy, um, and he's got to be absolutely disciplined about that for himself, but also for every MP in that caucus, that that is what they talk about, nothing else. The second thing he's got to do is, I think he's got to show at the conference, and even before the conference, that he's in control of the party. Uh, And that will mean making a strong position at conference uh, against the man-ban policy. And he's got to be prepared for some people not to like him, Mike. You see, I think that's the problem where he's tried to juggle everybody and keep Mm. everybody happy. Now's the time to put a stake in the ground and say what he stands for. Well, Cam, it's did you do a good summary up, there from Josie. <laughs> it's very hard to argue against any of that. In fact, I, I'm pretty much in agreement with that. But mm. the sad fact is, is that David Shearer has lost control of his party. He is not in control. He's running from what is a really simple issue that should be easily dealt with. The only media he's talking to it appears to be you, Mike. He's not talking to anybody else. And he's acting like the brave knight, Sir Robin, in in um, you know in in the old um, uh, what was it the you know what I mean the uh, the old brave mm. knight, Sir Robin from um, no spit it out, Cam. I've got no idea what you're talking you've got about. No idea. <laughs> what are you talking about, Robin Hood? Are we talking Robin Hood? No, no, no. We're talking no. about brave brave Sir Robin. There was a, an old um, Monty Python, the holy. Grail type story about this Fraser is a Robin. Who... Are you noticing, Mike? This is good political <laughs> tactic at work. He's managed to sidetrack us all over the place now. Or rather, you should be getting us back to the Labour Party, though, Cam. Well, well indeed. Can I, Cam? Cam. David Shearer is running away from this. Yeah. And he's not talking about it. Uh, he's forbidding uh, other um, MPs, particularly women, from talking about it, which is. Highly ironic. They've got a policy here, that a rule change that they're proposing, which is supposedly to bring more women in, and yet he's forbidding the women who support that to talk about it. It's gagging them at the same time. Although, Cam, did you see Yeah, she made his situation a hell of a lot harder because she said he is committed to this? Well, you know, someone who has such poor media skills shouldn't be let loose on a a TV show um, sitting there with Duncan Garner on one side and Chris Trotter on the other. She was absolutely torn apart, but the the, um, the the crazy thing is, is she thought she did well. Yeah, and the it, problem it they've got is a that train they're crash. sorry, sorry, Cam, but the problem they've got is they're trying to distance themselves from the fact that this isn't just a policy that's up for discussion. It is something that's been backed by New Zealand Council, and so. Um, I mean, I saw that interview too, Mike, and I think what she was saying, which is true, that, and, and I, t- I agree with this too, that the target of getting more women into Parliament so that you've got a more representative amount, a number of, of, of uh, women in Parliament, that's a, great, that's a great target, but there's a big difference between a target and a quota. Now, in a country like Afghanistan, where women have been marginalised horribly for centuries, then, yeah. yep, you need a quota to get them into Parliament because you can't okay. take 300 years to do it. Thank you, you Josie. We'll take, yep, Josie, we'll just uh, take a break. We'll be back with the huddle very shortly. It's 14 to 6. Mike Yardley, Drive. Yeah, with the new ANZ, the bank that gives you more. It is 12 to 6, News Talk ZB. We are on the huddle with uh, Cam Slater from Whale Oil and Josie Pagani. Uh, this issue in the Manawatu, the health authorities there are being accused of forcing elderly rest home residents to quit smoking by banning them from lighting up indoors or outdoors in rest homes. Is this over the top, Kim? 
well, these poor old pensioners have paid their dues. They've, they've actually, if they've got to being in a rest home and smoking, have beaten the odds in the first place. Uh, in, in actual fact, they've probably more than paid their fair share with all the extra tobacco taxes that they've paid. I reckon let them um, chug away. Uh, indoors, maybe we can move them into a separate room. Outdoors, I don't see a problem with it. I think that, that these people are being picked on they've, when they've unfairly paid a, an extortionate amount of tax. Yeah, they're not in prison, are they? Look, if I no. make it to my 80s, I intend to smoke too much, take up whiskey drinking, wear too much makeup, be rude to people, and take up Loose inappropriate men. hobbies. <laughs> Maybe I should start that now. <laughs> Motorcycle you could, you could... riding and all sorts of things exactly. like that. Exactly, you know? yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You don't want to go into the grave regretting the things that you could have done. I think that's the thing, isn't it? That, that voluntarily a rest home can go smoke-free now. So yes. if, all the, if all the people living there decide that's what they want, fine. But it's not, it's not a, you know, we're not talking about prisoners here. I don't think we're moaning about it being indoors, are we? We, we don't mind banning smoking indoors. But if an, if an exactly. old codger wants yeah. to go outside and suck on a cigarette, who In cares? the southerly, mm. go for it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's where it seems yeah. extremely fascist. Doesn't it? Well, it, it just, it's just, um, I just think it's unnecessary. It's different to the well, mental I, health, you know, the, the DBH, um, um, DHB, sorry, uh, have won this case about mental health patients. Now, that's different. Mm. If, you're, if you're a nurse in, a, in an acute mental health ward, uh, you don't want to be working around people smoking. I think that's a different case, really, yeah. morally. Well, the, no, it's yeah, a different case. So these okay. pensioners, uh, I feel sorry for them. They've paid all that tax from their c- cigarette smoking. This is the problem, though, that we've had with these, um, you know, these health uh, commissars that have dictated that we can't eat sugar and we can't smoke cigarettes. And these are all personal choice matters that here. And if people are prepared to pay the taxes to do that, we should let them do it. Sure. I've got 60 seconds, guys. Just very quickly on this uh, dreadful plane crash at ECFO yesterday, I was staggered to see in some of those... Uh, Twitter photos that some of the passengers as they evacuated out of the aircraft were holding their hand luggage. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'd be stopping for the hand luggage. Did they unless take it was their be- high heels off? That's what I want to <laughs> know. All these things that you're told, which you know you always ignore anyway. Yeah, but the, the one thing that you know, I wake up at night thinking you leave your luggage behind and take your high heels off. I would have yes, been the indeed. one taking the photo because I would have been out there faster than anybody else. <laughs> in your high heels, Cam. But it's in, in my, <laughs> it's in my high heels. Don't knock it till you've tried it, Josie. What? Well, there you go. My heels or a plane crash? Well, you ah. know, the interesting thing about this plane crash, now the video is being released and there's some reports coming out, it looks like the pilot dropped it in the water 200 metres short. And yeah, it was too low, too slow. The fault of the plane. I think it's just a definite pilot error here. Yeah, it looks it's, like it, doesn't it? It certainly looks that way, absolutely. Thank you, guys. Very nice to talk. Josie Pagani and Cam Slater. It's 8 to 6 in News Talk ZB.